Hello everyone, this is Anjali Wahingbaum and you're watching Imoinu Live Top 20 News. NRC declared as final by Foreigners' Tribunal in Assam. Assam government has directed Foreigners' Tribunals to refrain from passing any consequential orders or the person's nationality. Directorate of Elementary Education Assam announces 9,354 teacher vacancies. The D has issued an advertisement inviting application for jobs in Assam for the recruitment of 9,354 regular assistant teacher of lower primary and upper primary schools. Mega Investment Summit to be held in Tripura in December 2021. The core motive of the summit is to attract investment in progressive agriculture, bamboo, rubber and newly added agar wood cultivation and processing. Manipur Rights Panel asks police to protect four RTI activists from NSCNIM. Based on a complaint lodged by the rights activist Wahangbam Joy Kumar Singh, the Manipur Human Rights Commission has asked the police to provide adequate protection to the four RTI activists who have gone into hiding fearing reprisal from the NSCNIM militants. Assam and Meghalaya Education Ministers inaugurate International Centre of Excellence at the University of Science and Technology, Meghalaya. Both education ministers say that the International Centre of Excellence will bring growth and positive results for the development of human resource in the Northeast region. African swine flu detected among pigs of Tripura's Kanchapur. After the detection of the virus, Kanchapur in North District has been declared as an epicentre of the disease in Tripura. Government generates 12-digit unique IDs for farmers to avail schemes. The unique ID is part of the government's initiative to create a database by collecting data from various schemes. Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulates new Punjab CM Charanjit Singh Chani. Narendra Modi tweeted that the union government will continue to work with the border state's new government for the betterment of the people. Heaviest September rain submerges large parts of Kolkata in 14 years. The Indian Meteorological Department's regional office in Kolkata said that a cyclonic circulation that had developed over the sea moved towards the West Bengal coast, triggering the heavy rain. Shilpa Shetty's husband Raj Kundra gets bail in pornography film's case. Raj Kundra had requested bail, arguing that investigation is over and a charge sheet has been filed. Facebook India appoints former IAS as head of public policy, ex-IAS officer and former Uber executive Rajiv Agarwal has been appointed as a director of public policy by Facebook India today. Akhara Parishad head Mahant Narendra Giri was found dead at his Prayagraj residence. A suicide note has been recovered by the police which mentions that he was mentally disturbed. Covid curfew in Uttarakhand to continue from September 21 to October 5. Six killed in Russia shooting, a gunman opened fire on a university campus today in central Russia. Investigators say that in the country's second mass shooting this year, students have been targeted. Indian and Indonesian navies take part in maritime exercise. A two-day bilateral maritime exercise, Samudra Shakti, has been scheduled from September 20 to 22 in Jakarta, Indonesia. Separate packs cannot bring inclusive solution to Naga issue. Nikki Sumi, the president of the Nikki Sumi faction of the NSCN case, said that the Naga political issue cannot be solved by the separate agreements with different factions. Taliban bans IPL 2021 broadcasting in Afghanistan calls it anti-Islamic content. Girls dancing and the attendance of bad hair women are possibly considered as anti-Islamic content by Islamic Emirates of Taliban, which is why IPL broadcast is banned in the country. Virat Kohli, captain of Royal Challengers Bangalore, wins the toes and elects to bet against Kolkata Knight Riders on the Indian Premier League 2021 at the Sheikh Zayed Cricket Stadium today. And today's Assam COVID-19 update, total positive cases 455, recovery rate 98.20% and total death cases 10. That's the end of Top 20 News. Thank you for watching. That's the end of Top 20 News. Thank you for watching.